Hi and welcome to one of our tech tip videos on ANSYS Mechanical. I'm going to be going over bolt pre-tensioning and giving you some tips and tricks. The first tip I have is to simplify your hardware. Maybe you don't need some of these features that you have on your bolt. Just the area that's going to be having high contact. For example, this circle. You can see that on my right bolt, I've simplified some of the features and removed some of the, the corners here. I've done the same for the nut on the bottom. You can see that I've only kept the area that's going to have high contact, and that's this circle I have selected on this nut. So over here, it's just a cylinder. This doesn't change results too much or at all. So by, by simplifying your hardware, you're going to get a more conformal mesh. you got to just ask yourself what's important. Do I really need all these features here? Uh, you might have a socket head and it might give you a, a lower quality mesh or even giving you more nodes and elements that are unnecessary. That can increase computation time. My second tip is to make sure to uh, go over the contacts that you've created. Over here in this uh, connection group, I made sure to delete and remove any contacts that I don't need. I'm going to suppress this contact group. I'm going to show you what happens when you just rely on the ANSYS auto uh, connections. So let me delete these. And uh, typically when you first open up mechanical, it's going to automatically create connections for you. And you're going to have connections that are unnecessary. For example, the shank of the left uh, bolt over here is bonded to the hole of the plate. Now that's going to mess up our results. I'm going to go ahead and solve this. I'm going to show you. By having the bodies bonded, it's almost like they're, it's like a uniform part here, except that some parts of the elements and nodes, the bolt pretensioning is being applied, and that's wrong. So those are my two big tips for you. Simplify your hardware, and make sure that you have the right connections, because if you don't, you'll be getting the wrong results.